Hellos! For this video, we're gonna be looking at a player who doesn't play the game anymore. So, why are we looking at this old forgotten player? Well, sometimes what we have to do is go back, 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 back. Sorry. Just, I really wanted to do that. Alright, we're looking at Hercules. Hercules. Whether you're dyslexic or not, he's yes. also called Heracles. Yes! 100% Greek and Roman perfection! You may know him. Hercules was a very powerful player. So amazing that there are many stories about him, and over the ages, people start to think that he was nothing more than a myth or a part of the game's lore. He's not. Hercules was a real player who played this game and died after being poisoned. Eh, kinda sucked that he died that way. Alright, let's look into Hercules, shall we? Hercules is in the Demigod class, one of the strongest classes when it comes to PvE and PvP. How did he prove he was strong? Well, he proved it by completing the 12 Labors quest. It's a very difficult quest, and I'll talk more about it later. But first, let's get to the rest of the stats. As expected of being in the Demigod class, Hercules has very high strength, which is very good for him because back then, strength was the meta. Not only does the Demigod class entail having high strength, it also gives high dexterity and constitution as well, as those are the stats that are needed for combat-oriented gameplay. But when it comes to intelligence and charisma, however, eh, they are high, but it could easily be outclassed by other classes that are more focused around those stats, like Alchemist or Doctor. Now, for the skills, <sighs> that's the downside of being in the Demigod class. You are given only one class-specific skill, and it's the skill God Power. A passive skill that enhances all skills that deals damage. Uh, it's not a bad skill, but I just kind of wish there were cooler skills for Demigod. Uh, but instead, Hercules had to stick with the standard skills like Punch, Straight Shot, Stab, and Spin Attack. And also a bunch of other skills that I'm not going to get into. And those are the basics. So, what made Hercules so great? Well, it's mainly because of one specific quest that he did, the 12 Labors quest. Sadly, that quest doesn't exist anymore, so for those of you who wanted to try, sorry. Um, in, in a way, it's kind of a good thing, actually. It's actually one of the hardest quests that the developers ever made. So, what made the quest so hard? <laughs> well, in order to complete the quest, you have to do 12 difficult tasks, and they are... <sighs> Slay the Nemean Lion. Slay the Hydra, slay the Stymphalian birds, capture the Golden Hind of Artemis, capture the Amanthian Boar. What the hell? Capture the Cretan Bull, capture the Cerberus, clean the Augean stables in a day. That's a crappy job. Steal the mares of Diomedes, steal the apple of Hesperides. What kind of quest is this? And finally, obtain the Girdle of Hippolyta, obtain the cattle of the monster Garion, and that's it. It's a stupidly long quest. And what was the reward after all of this? Well, it turns out it's actually not a bad reward. After the quest, you get put into the guild of the Argonauts. A guild where people of the same caliber as Hercules went on exclusive quests or raids provided by the devs to obtain ultra-rare loot. So, how did Hercules complete the quest? Well, aside from his amazing stats that really helped him out, he also went all monster hunter and decided to use the remains of some of his foes to craft some really strong armor and weapons. And most notably, he made the Mantle of the Lion and the Hydra Arrows, two very OP items, and I'm pretty sure without those items, he would have had a much more difficult time with the quest. Speaking of crafting items, I made some pretty awesome equipment if I say so myself. Alright, here we go. Oh, hold on, it's off. Um, let me just fix this for a second, okay? Uh, there we go. Okay, now that's fixed. Okay, um, so I've made quite a few items during my time, and I'm quite proud of what I did. So, here are just a few items. So first, I have something that you might have seen before. It's the Ends of the Earth replica. Uh, of course, it needs to be worked on a little bit more. Maybe I should upgrade it. But, you know, it's fine as it is. 
pretty good item, took a lot to craft, and in order to wield it, it you know, it requires a lot of strength, and ugh, you need like possibly like maybe 200, you know, uh, strong, kind of durable, but you know, yeah. Alright, here's one of the best items ever crafted. Hold on. Even better than ends of the earth. And... Uh, this is the Shirt of Tears. Ultra rare item. It's an ultra rare item. Made it myself. All it requires is a shirt and... Tears of Lost Childhood. That's all you ever need. The shirt, easy to get. The hard part is the, the tears. And for me, it's extremely easy to get tears and everything. So, not a problem. You know, I could just have the lot, okay? And, uh, I actually shouldn't be wasting this. Um, there we go. Yeah, so. I should probably sell this on eBay. Maybe for like, I don't know, 10,000 elons? 100,000 elons? Yeah. Ha huh, ha! Huh? Pretty amazing stuff, right? With just enough practice, I can make amazing items just like Hercules. And hey, it just goes to show you that no matter how powerful he is, you can still also be like him as long as you put the time and effort. So train hard, grind hard, and make sure to get that ultra rare loot. With that, good luck and have fun. You know what time it is. Put me time. Oh, okay, so you're doing a quest. Um, here, let me help you out. Make sure to get that sweet reward, okay? And let me know what it is. No, don't you dare. But, but then again, can you help me raise my other eyebrow? I've never been able to raise the other eyebrow. I always end up raising the one that you see. Like, I, I really want to be able to do it. Oh, right, and finally, here you go. I just want to show this off, uh, so the thing is, I have this Twitter account, I don't know if you know about it, I'll list it right here, and um, so for one of my tweets I posted one of my old drawings, and PRSR decided to just take the drawing and decide to color it, and wow, he really did a good job. Um, so yeah, good job, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll have his Twitter handle right here, and once again, thanks a lot man. That's all the comments I'm going to be putting up for this video, so if you want to be part of the next Put Me Time, make sure to have hashtag put me in your comments. I'll see you guys later and peace.